As I've disclosed before, one of Netland's favorite toys of the planet is light and shadow in the lake. sort of stuff don't you think that don't you think that uh, don't you think that that is true that you love that sort of stuff dear? so bearing that in mind we stumbled on a wonderful discovery the other night um, and in order for me to explain it to you let me start from the beginning so this here is one of my prized possessions and what it is is um, I guess it's sort of like a big old paperweight, but but like a diamond, like a beautiful glittering, um, sparkling, real, actually real diamond that is like worth so much in a real diamond. Um, and it's really heavy and pretty and it was my grandpa's and well actually my dad took it for me from my grandpa's house without permission, but my grandpa wouldn't have cared I bet, right? He wouldn't have cared. I was a kid and I said, dad, I like grandpa's diamond. And my dad said, here, let's just grab it. Oh, that's pretty bad. So I keep my real diamond on my nightstand always. And the other night, my bendy reading lamp was twisted in such a way that it reflected off the diamond and created an explosion on the ceiling. Oh my God. It was like an explosion of starry rainbow f light fragments flitting off of it. And I could twist it around and make the stars go bonkers on the ceiling. And guess who loved it? None other than Nutland, of course. And she was like, whoa, 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 staring up at the new um, galaxy on the ceiling like, what the hell? Like little hot walnut brain blown. So it's become a very exciting uh, nightly nighttime ritual, almost like a sort of lullaby. We call it planetarium. <laughs> 